Okay, if you are joining me and you already see the video started, go ahead and do what we do every time. Let me know you're out there. Hit the thumbs up or the heart. Start using the comment feature so we know who is out there joining us today. I'm always gonna give you guys about a minute to two minutes to sort of get checked in. I realize that for your child, they might not have the patience to sit there, so just have some music and let them dance a little bit. Okay, keep getting checked in. I'm glad to see you guys are participating today. You might see that I'm in a familiar environment. I did, uh, I, I was missing the gym a little bit, so I came over to the gym to make my video today. And the theme is called Brain Booster. So it's that time that I wanna explain to you, out there participating from home, some of the things that you're gonna need, okay? So with today's activities, we recommend two sticks. If you were working out with us at the little gym, you would be given rhythm sticks to use and participate. If you're at home, we know that you don't have those. So it could totally be two wooden spoons or two plastic spoons. Something that could work as tapping and uh, I'll explain more about that later. You also need a ball and you're going to need different leveled and different uh, tactile surfaces. So this is one of the reasons why I wanted to come here today to show you. If you have laminate or hardwood floors in your house, maybe you want today to put like a small rug or mat down. We also need you to keep going with more tactile senses so that your kid today, as we move about, can feel the difference between that surface and this surface. So things could include like a folded up blanket, a pillow, cushions off your sofa. Instead of a cushion, I have um, a mat from the gym. So go ahead and start organizing those things and then join me back when you're ready. We'll always end our class with bubbles. So again, if you don't have all of this stuff, that's okay. Um, we just wanna make sure you guys get as close to a little gym class experience as we can make available for you, which means finishing with bubbles. All right, looks like we have enough people checked in. I think we get, we're ready to get going. I am Miss Melissa, and I'm happy to be here today. The theme is called Brain Boosters. I wonder how many of you guys know the amount of neurons in a, bra in a baby's body, in their brain. It's a bigger number than I can count to. Even if I started counting now and counted for 10 years, I would never be done. It's a massive number. So keep that in mind. Your child has more neurons and synapses and brain activity now than they will ever have again in their life. So we want to go ahead and introduce a lot of learning for them, okay? So that's where I get to come in and present that opportunity for you today. Parents, you need to be an active participant. Yes, spotting your kids. You'll have fun, I promise you, okay? With, in place of a real child, I'm gonna be using um, a doll baby to sort of mimic that experience. I'm gonna pause the music. Let's sing the hello song together so we can do this brain boost warm up and keep on moving, all right. If you know the hello song, I definitely want you to be singing along at your house. I can't hear you, only your child can hear you. So it's for their benefit that you're singing so they can learn the words and know that the activities are ready to start. Here goes. I'm gonna start by clapping my hands. Oh, everyone, please clap your hands and sing along with me. How do you do, everybody? How do you do? How do you do, everybody? How do you do? Oh, you come to gym for fun, and we'll get you on the run. How do you do, everybody? How do you do? Do, 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 do. All right, today is Brain Boosters. My name is Melissa, and as I get, want, um, as we do our first brain exercise today, I want you guys to do a listening activity. So that's why I have my ear out here so you guys can see. This is what we use to listen or to hear with. This is our ear. Touch your ear, please. Good. Now, parents, there's um, an actual, um, there's been studies that show 
It's called reticular activation. I know, big word, but keeping your brain smart today to learn new things. When you rub or touch your child's ear in such a way like this, you're giving the activity center of the brain that's used for listening and hearing a chance to get started. So it's not just an anatomy lesson like, oh, let's use our ears to listen to Miss Melissa. It's actually a brain exercise too because as soon as you do this, the part of the brain knows I need to be ready to go for listening. So it's a two for one there. Okay, so with the listening song, it goes like this. I will sing and then I'm gonna pause and point to you. And when you see me point to you, it could be open-handed like this or like this. It'll be your turn to say your names. Listen how it goes. If you're happy and you know it, say your names. If you're happy and you know it, say your names. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say your names. Nice to meet you. I'm so glad you guys are all here with me today. That is a familiar song, so we got a chance to use that for our name activity. Time to get moving. As soon as we get started, I'm going to demonstrate in this open space that I have. You can do the same wherever you are at. Let's go. Your child's activities and experiences directly and positively affect how their brain develops. So let's have a brain and body workout. Let's start with a walk or a run. If you All have right. a non-walker, spot in the upper torso. If you have a non-walker, right? That's me. The kids can stand still or you can do it as you walk. Show them how it's done, parents. I'm show ready. nice big you show arm circle. Okay? Are you ready? Go. Swim. The brain learns through repetition, through any activity like the swimming motion here. If certain neurons connect and fire together often enough, a more permanent what? connection is created. The more they walk. see, the more they hear, the more they feel, the more Swim. they do. For their brains will learn today. For another great brain activity, back whoop de doos nice. which help develop your child's inner ear or vestibular system as they rotate and go upside down. Right. Be gentle with it. If you're ready, Teachers, pause the music you if you need to explain and demonstrate spotting. Have fun. Uh I love that. I always say have fun too because this one is so fun. Okay. If you've been participating with Little Jim at home for a while, you've seen the back whoop de doo you're experts, get it going. You don't need to wait for my instructions. If this is your first time, or if you maybe kind of need a refresher on what to do, then please watch. Okay, so in the back whoop de doo your child is going to carefully and comfortably travel upside down over your body. So to make that happen, you need to make sure you're comfortable with the way you're spotting them. So your child is going to sit about at your feet and their back is against your legs. And then here's where I always tell people, make sure your hands are in the proper placement. So it's like a mitten shaped hand with both hands and your hands or thumbs should be up around the chest. If you hold too low, the, the flipping is gonna be really awkward. So try to hold up, I usually say somewhere around like the chest area is perfect, okay? So I rock back with her on my legs. My thumbs are in her chest. I use my legs to give her a little boost and my hands complete the flip so she goes behind me. Notice I'm gonna hold on to her here 
If I can trust my child to sit or stand, you can let them go or complete that motion by bringing them forward. Still hands on, head to your legs and rock up. Woo! Have fun indeed. Let's do some back to do's. Amazing grace. A great upper body and core strength workout. I'm her up hey, high. a fun way to finish the wheelbarrow Toddlers, is to say forward roll or somersault and see okay, if your you child will four, tuck her head again. and finish in a forward roll. This is the Go. Spotted. Experience is changing your baby's brain strength from the day it is created. Everything a baby sees, hears, tastes, touches, and smells influences the way your baby's brain gets wired or hooked up. Because each child will grow up having their own unique history of experiences, each child's brain will be wonderfully unique. Pause the music and give each child one stick and each parent one stick. If you need to pause, now's the time to do that. Hey I'm kids, ready. Can you tap your stick on your mom or dad's stick to right the now, rhythm of the music? your stick on your knee. Knee? Now touch your stick on your tummy. tummy. Now give the child both sticks. Hey kids, can you hammer the nail or tap your sticks on the floor? Okay. Amazing when a younger child, I would demonstrate your hook up. Older kids, put one stick up. And the other stick on your child will let you try this using one stick like a rolling pin gently massage different parts of your child's body Sounds with nice. a stick the bottoms of their feet their thighs their arms their back this provides wonderful tactile input for your child and their brain let's get those brain synapses firing The more they hear, the more they hear, the more they feel, the more they feel, the more they do, the more they brain, the more they brain, the more they brain, the more they learn today. The more they brain, the more they brain, the more they learn today. Matt, baby goes body parts is also a great learning boost. You do have amazing brains. Thanks, Randy. Awesome information. That's always been a great song. It's time to put the sticks away, sticks away, sticks away. Time to put the sticks away at the little gym at home. All right, 
So that was our group, that was a warm up and a group activity rolled into one. It's an amazing song, Amazing Brains. Time for our full body three. So to give you guys a little bit of background information, the full body three is our way of giving you activities at home to introduce more problem solving and exercises that encourage more than just one body part together, okay? So it's not just a focus on hands, for example. It might be focused on the whole body, full body three. Okay, some of these you've seen before and they might be a review skill for you with an added twist or they might be brand new. So either way that you guys are learning, remember I need you adults to be that active participant. You're doing great so far, keep it up. The first one, it's a fun one. So we're gonna do uh, the front whoop de doo You just saw me do a back whoop de doo Here's what we're gonna do for the front whoop de doo Basically the same setup, but we're gonna start with her on her belly instead of her back, okay? So instead, with back whoop de doo she was on her back, front whoop de doo she's here. So I'm gonna take her, my thumbs are still in the same spot, kind of up on the upper back, maybe where the shoulder blades are. I rock back. Here she goes, and then forward again, and you can just stay right there if you want. You don't have to rock all the way up. So we've got that motion, motion of rotation. So I'm going to put on some music and let you guys explore how that feels with forward and front whoop de doos. today. So I mentioned earlier, I'd like you to think about setting up your environment with different um, textures and different things. So this is where this comes into play. Maybe you have a cushion off of your, your sofa. And see, this would be about that same height as a cushion. Maybe a few inches high, you see that? Okay. And maybe a folded blanket that's not quite as thick, but maybe half of that. All right. The all-terrain wheelbarrow is a spotted wheelbarrow across different surfaces that have different textures and different heights. But you really introduce the concept to your child's brain boost as they have to motor plan. Hmm, how do I get up to that next level? Oh, I need to push a little harder for my hands. All right, so a little bit of motor plan. Watch out for you. I'm starting all the way back here with a wheelbarrow on the laminate, then the mat, then up. And then down again. So it's a spotted wheelbarrow, all-terrain wheelbarrow. If she goes to the mat, a little different surface. This is the hard one to go up. Remember, parents, this is a guided or spotted activity. As soon as you notice them getting tired, it's okay to give them a break. We go down. One more time across the mat with a different surface. Woo! Well done, all-terrain wheelbarrow. Of course you can set that up in so many different ways. I'm gonna push this to the side a little bit. Okay, last exercise. Sack of potato spin. Sack of potato carry. Your child is on your hip. Doesn't matter which one, whichever one you feel comfortable with. Parallel to the ground looking down. That's the sack of potato carry. Today it's sack of potato with a spin. So they're here. And you're turning or spinning them. Okay, you keep doing that. The 
benefit of spinning is obviously we've talked about that inner ear development before. It's also a proprioceptive skill, meaning if your child is in your arms, they also have to sort of be oriented to the environment. So as they're looking down and their body is moving, they sort of have to figure out where they are. So this is a great proprioceptive skill, body awareness task. So sack of potatoes with a spin. Okay, let's review. That was your full body three today. So here goes the review. First one, front whoop de doo Second one, all-terrain wheelbarrow. Third one, sack of potatoes with a spin. You're amazing. Don't give up. Keep going. We're nearing the end of our lesson today. It's time to play with the ball today. Ball today, the ball today. Time to play with the ball today at the little gym. All right. I'll get the music going and you guys join me on in your space. First one, bouncing. Ball bouncing, working as a team. Bouncing in a circle, a fast bouncing machine. Ball bouncing, working as a team. Bouncing in a circle, a fast bouncing machine. Remember, I mentioned before, if you're not quite there yet and you're trying to be sitting on the ball, and that's your bounce. Bounce and catch it. The bouncing and catching the is the goal here, the goal skill that we're working towards. Freeze. Freeze. Listen. Ball throwing. Throwing. Throwing as a team. Okay, I'm going to use this as my backstop. So I won't back to me. If you have a play team to do that too, maybe set up your couch cushion. That's how fun we do things to learn about. Awesome and fast. What happens when I throw my ball at throw the hard, cushion? Everybody. It comes back. Throw it hard. You're at your house, throw so you decide what works for you guys. Throw. bubbles. I'm going to go ahead and just start to blow them around. Adults, I hope you know the song. Have you ever seen a lassie, a lassie, a lassie? We're using that for our tune. I will teach you the words in just a second. And as um, you guys are getting that tune in your head, <laughs> start to pop some bubbles with your little one. Give them something to do. 
Okay, the theme is Brain Boosters. So to introduce our brain and thinking exercise with bubbles today, I will name a body part and add it into my song. So it'll go, bubble on your finger, your finger, your finger. Bubble on your finger, your finger today. Notice how that's the same tune I mentioned? All right, I'll start blowing bubbles. When I get a break from blowing bubbles, I'll sing with you. We'll do a few body parts. Let's go. Bubble on your finger, your finger, your finger. Bubble on your finger, your finger today. Any more? Feet. Bubble on your feet, your feet, your feet. Bubble on your feet, your feet today. More bubbles. This time I'm going to do bubbles while I spin my... Okay, so I'm going to sing that one and spin a bit. Bubbles while I spin, while I spin, while I spin. Bubbles while I spin, while I spin today. I'm going to clap them and say goodbye to the bubbles. Bubbles while I clap, while I clap, while I clap. Bubbles while I clap, while I clap today. It's time to clap and sing. It's time to sit in a circle today, circle today, circle today. Time to sit in a circle today at the little gym. All right, I'm just gonna grab my sheet because I think I was supposed to teach you a sign language word today, but I didn't write it down. Sorry about that. Let's review some of the other ones and, you know, sometimes that amazing brain isn't always so amazing. Last week's, uh, ex some of the signs that we've learned previously, I guess I should say, we have learned the sign for love or hug. We learned the sign for feet. You point down, feet. We've learned the sign for listen. Listen. We've learned the sign for watch. Watch. And we've learned the sign for bubbles. Those are all super helpful in getting your child to go ahead and do a lot of these activities. In previous exercise, I might have also shown you the sign for follow. Okay, so I hope you guys are using a little bit more of those sign language words that you've learned with us at the Little Gym and able to incorporate them at home. Speaking of at home, we want to give you your personal outside practice. Instead of just doing this exercise with us one time, this lesson one time with us, we want you to think about doing some of your child's favorite things from today's activity and doing them more. Or if you didn't get enough time to really practice the all-terrain wheelbarrow, do that at home a little bit more. If you'd like to teach somebody else how to do the front whoop to do do that a little bit more at home. And as always, it really helps us if you tag a friend and share this video with other people's that people's, you know, share it with other people, friends that you have out there that you think would benefit from it, okay? So you can tag a friend in the comments, make sure they see the video as well. Thumbs up and hearts are great. Comments are super helpful for us to get relevant um, and make sure more people see it as well. So this is Miss Melissa, ready to sing the goodbye song with you. You, have, you can have your child on your lap. You can have your child in front of you. You can tickle your child however you want to do this together. I'm going to just go ahead and let her bounce. Oh, everyone, please sing with me and sing along with me. Bye, bye, everyone. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye, bye, everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye, bye, everyone. Oh, bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye.